Hello my friends, welcome to The Electric Viking. Thank you for subscribing if you already have. I've noticed a lot of you have done so lately. Subscriber numbers are really starting to increase. Thank you so much, I really appreciate the support. I think a lot of it actually comes from Clean Technica putting a video up on their website. So thank you Clean Technica. Kudos and shout out to you guys. And girls, if you're looking for EV news, one of the best places to get non-clickbait EV news is not electric or inside EVs. It's Clean Technica. I think they're one of the best websites anywhere. Storedot. Storedot have announced that they have made a 4680 size battery. Yes, it's the same size battery that Tesla is working on. Are they working on it for Tesla? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Storedot, are they the real deal? Firstly, you're going to be thinking, clickbait, is this just another bogus battery company making bogus claims, saying they're going to change the world and... Really, they haven't done anything real before. They're just sort of some startup trying to make a name for themselves. Is that the case with Storedot? No, it is not the case with Storedot. Storedot is an Israeli lithium ion battery company based in Israel. The company develops battery assemblies made of a lithium ion battery and a fast charging component. What they aim to do is to make lithium ion batteries that can charge incredibly quickly. Now, in the past, StoreDot's batteries could charge insanely quickly, but they delivered only about a third of the energy density compared to competing lithium ion batteries, and they cost twice as much. That was the big issue. But if that was still the number one issue, then I highly doubt that all of the companies that have invested in StoreDot would have done so. They would have said, red flags, another one of the many, why bother? But listen to this. Stordot was founded by CEO Doron Meisdorf and his partners in Tel Aviv in 2012. Stordot claims to offer a new fast charging battery technology that has a fast charging component that can fully charge in five minutes. Incredible, right? They're saying they can fully charge the 4680 battery cells now in 10 minutes, which is a bigger battery form factor, which has had issues in the past. However, in 2014, Storedot introduced a prototype of a mobile phone battery that could be fully charged in 30 seconds. In 2017, Daimler, Mercedes, and Samsung were part of a $60 million investment round in Storedot. The same year, Storedot was called the most disruptive company in the world by Disrupt 100. Not the second most, the most disruptive company in the world by Disrupt 100. In June 2018, BP invested 20 million US dollars in Storedot while the startup was still planning to launch its first product the following year, targeting the mobile phone and other consumer electronics markets. In December 2018, Storedot entered in mass production mode of its flash battery electronics with the Chinese manufacturer Eve Energy Company. Storedot lists BP Ventures, Daimler, Samsung, TDK, and Roman Abramovich among its investors. Stordot was BP's first investment in an Israeli company, and by February 2019, Stordot had raised 160 million US dollars from investors. Now, in March 2021, Stordot was reported to be in negotiations to merge with SPAC, S P A C, at a $3.5 billion valuation. So, what is SPAC or what is a SPAC? Well, interestingly, SPAC stands for a special purpose acquisition company also known as a blank check company. It's basically just a shell corporation listed on a stock exchange with the purpose of acquiring a private company, thus making it public without going through the traditional initial public offering process. According to the US Securities and Exchange Commission, a SPAC is created specifically to pool funds in order to finance a merger or acquisition opportunity within a set time frame. The opportunity usually has yet to be identified. So in 2020, SPACs raised a record 82 billion US dollars. And 2020 is referred to as a blank check boom. So it appears as though Storedot has a valuation of around about $3.5 billion with big investments from a number of big companies. So they are the real deal. Now, whether or not they can make this battery is still in question. However, I don't think it's likely that these big companies, including Samsung, the world's fifth largest battery company, would have invested in them if they weren't legit. 
So now we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the battery. Now to give you some context, last year Tesla unveiled the long anticipated 4680 battery cell that they claim could reduce battery costs by as much as 50%. Interestingly though, Stordot had been working on the exact same size battery two years prior to Tesla announcing the 4680 battery cell. Now 4680 actually just refers to the size, meaning 46 millimeters by 80 millimeters, which is much bigger than any other cylindrical battery cell produced ever before, much, much bigger. Now Tesla claimed to have solved thermal issues with creating cells of that size, and they announced plans to produce the cells themselves, which would be a first, but it also plans to partner with existing battery manufacturers to, to produce its new size cell. Now LG Chem, or LG Energy Solutions as they like to be known now, CATL, Samsung SDI, Panasonic, and other battery companies have announced programs or development of Tesla's new battery cell in order to get a contract from Tesla. Now obviously Panasonic would already have a, a contract in place. The other companies, we don't know if their contract's in place, but likely there would be. Tesla is trying to get as much battery supply as they possibly can. And I think what's happening here is some of these companies are actually helping Tesla figure out how to make this battery cell more efficiently, more effectively. And Tesla's being smart here by getting more people to work on this outside of their own company. So before this even happened though, before Tesla announced this cell, Stordot had announced its own foray, its own development of a 4680 battery cell and made incredible claims about that cell. The company has been focused on improving charging rates in EV battery packs for years. As I mentioned, they've been trying to work on their mobile phone battery that can charge in five minutes. And they've actually done some really impressive demonstrations, including recharging an electric scooter in five minutes, as well as the mobile phone. Now it's stored out a saying that their 4680 battery cell can charge in only 10 minutes. Quote, Stordot, the pioneer of extreme fast charging battery technology for electric vehicles, reveals its groundbreaking silicon dominant technology applied in extreme fast charging NFC, XFC cylindrical cells. In a world first, the company demonstrated the prototype 4680 form factor that is fully charged in only 10 minutes. Stordot's extreme fast charging cylindrical cells utilize a 4680 cell format the one increasingly favored by global car makers and have been in development for over three years. Pioneering work for these breakthrough technologies was kicked off at Warwick University in the UK. Now, Dr. Doron Meyersdorf, who is actually the CEO of Stordot, said, achieving the goal of extreme fast charging a cylindrical cell in only 10 minutes has been on Stordot's technology roadmap from day one. After three years of vigorous development and testing, Leveraging multiple vectors of our world-class researchers, I am hugely proud of the effective collaboration across our globe that enabled this important achievement. It's highly significant that we can offer electric vehicle manufacturers the choice of cell formats utilizing our XFC technology that will overcome the current barriers to EV ownership, range, and charging anxiety. Now, can they put this battery into mass production? Well, Stordot says that they'll be able to achieve volume production by 2024. Now, obviously charging a battery in only 10 minutes would appear to do damage to that battery. And I think in this case, it's likely that that rule would apply to this battery as it does to pretty much every other battery on the market right now. Super fast charging batteries does cause battery degradation. But if you extended the time of this battery to say, let's say you charged it for 10 minutes and it charged 80% of the battery, that would be nearly as quick as a petrol fill up. What I can see happening is, companies such as Tesla may utilize this technology in their higher end vehicles. Maybe they could start off by putting these batteries, which will obviously cost more than Tesla's standard 4680 battery cells, into say their Tesla Roadster or their Tesla Model S Plaid, giving people who wanna pay more for the car this technology. And then what happens is obviously that kind of technology event eventually trickles down bit by bit into the lower grades. So you might find that by 2030, all Tesla vehicles will be able to charge in 10 minutes. That's often the way that this sort of high-end technology works. Do I think Stordot are legit? They are. Clearly they are legit. Do I think this technology works? Yes, I do. They've demonstrated it works. 
Do I think that it will cause significant battery degradation if you charge your battery in only 10 minutes? Yes, I do. However, fast charging isn't done usually. Usually, you only fast charge your car when you go on road trips or long trips. I think 98% of charging would be done at home still by 98% of buyers. So this does, though, offer people, offer the battery market, battery vehicles, the ability to say, yep, we can do that too. To people who have that rain, that anxiety, they say it takes too long to charge up your car. So this, in my opinion, is really good news. Guys and girls, tell me in this, the comments below, what do you think? Do you think this is legit? Do you think this would work? Do you think it even matters? Do you think we need 10 minute charging batteries? Tell me what you think. I'm interested to know. Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.